I thought I would show you again uh, my stealth camping spot for last night which was over here up against this park uh, right there's the van and uh, it's a McDonald's parking lot that's open 24 hours so that it's not weird for me to have a vehicle sitting here overnight so there you go guys another great stealth camping spot didn't get bothered slept pretty well hardly any activity near me last night since I was in the back of the parking lot later guys so I'm supposed to be meeting up with uh, Nassim he's a subscriber that's been like subscriber to the channel since almost the begin beginning and uh, he he participates quite a bit in comments and whatnot and so I'm really looking forward to having the opportunity to meet him so I think after his uh, Thanksgiving dinner he's gonna come down here and meet me in uh, El Segundo California so kind of excited about that look forward to meeting you Nassim so uh, I'll talk to y'all later when I, I meet up with him. I am leaving right now. I just got a call from Nassim and uh, I'm gonna go meet him up here in probably less than 15 minutes. Um, I'm excited. So I'll, I'll let you know how it goes when I get there. I'm over here now, uh, right off of Main Street in El Segundo, California going over here to the main street tavern where i'm going to meet up nasim right now um this little town reminds me a lot of deer park in houston texas so there's a refinery here and a decent amount of heavy industrial so i'll see you guys in a second all right guys so i'm over here and i got a wonderful opportunity to meet nasim he's one of my youtube subscribers some of you probably seen him you know, uh, commenting in the comment section. So I wanted to just have him uh, give us a few words, Nassim. What do you have to tell everybody? Hello, everyone. I think uh, James here uh, did the incredible and uh, not so obvious. He decided and uh, uh, made this uh, beautiful, fascinating journey. And I'm glad to see him here in uh, the LA area. And uh, I really admire uh, James for uh, what he's doing. It should be uh, inspiring and uh, example for uh, many people, everyone who is a uh, member of this uh, channel. So, uh, as he says, go out there, live your life, inspire other people also to live their lives, and uh, get the freedom that uh, we all deserve. And guys, when, when he's talking freedom, since I've gotten a chance to just sit here and chat with him for a two, three hours here, just uh, shooting the breeze, I want you to know that it's whatever is your freedom, what you see is freedom, what you feel is freedom is more important to him than maybe any kind of concept of freedom somebody puts on you. You know, it was, it was a really, really cool thing to get to meet uh, Nassim tonight. Um, I, I had had a lot of, like I said a little bit earlier, I'd had a lot of fun uh, interacting with him in the comments section. I liked the kind of things he said to people on other people's channels that I'd run into. And so we probably, I mean, I, I would say um, probably sat there and just, you know, just, just chatted and talked about world problems and, and some about van dwelling and, and 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 a little bit about other youtubers and stuff and a little bit about what's going on with the community I'm trying to bring here and um, I had a really good time he's a real bright guy uh, has has some really neat ideas um, as far as the way he sees life and whatnot um, he suggested a book to me he's supposed to send me a message uh, with and uh, so I'm gonna read it and uh, see what I think of it and maybe it's something I might suggest to you all but uh, it w I had a really good time and uh, I want to thank Nassim for that so you know it, it was cool so um, I'm gonna go and find go find myself a uh, stealth camping spot now for tonight guys uh, 
before I head off to uh, meet another subscriber tomorrow to have lunch with them. So it should be a good time and uh, I look forward to it and I'll talk to you guys very soon before I go to sleep. I don't usually do this but uh, the closest place and it was pretty late it's like almost three in the morning I was out hanging out with uh, Nassim till almost two and so I am gonna go ahead and try to stealth camp here at the McDonald's that's open 24 hours again tonight so you know I could end up having some problems um, I did it one other time where I spent more than one night in the same place I don't usually like doing that but I'm gonna do that tonight and uh, since I'm gonna be leaving first thing in the morning anyways and be on the other side of town so I don't see any residential real close here either so there shouldn't be anybody to go and complain on me you know unless it's the people that work at McDonald's themselves but I doubt they have time or or ambition enough to come and check so I'm gonna go ahead and crash tonight here and uh, hopefully I don't get woken up or anything but uh, again I just wanted to let you all know that uh, <clears throat> the Sims a great guy and uh, um, I wanted uh, Eric Jacobs with a uh, nomadic fanatic to know that I, I met with the Sim he'd say he was kind of hoping to get a chance to meet up with Eric and uh, Eric he's a real good guy so uh, um, if he hits you up you know go ahead and take some time to hang out with him um, he's a real smart guy real pleasant character so uh, and, I, and I've seen him participate over on your channel as well I'm a little tired this morning not not real bad like it's I slept okay but uh, I'm a little tired I probably would have slept in a little bit longer if I didn't have so much uh, plan to do today so right now I'm getting ready to uh, head over to Anaheim and meet uh, another subscriber of mine for lunch um, and then once I'm done doing that I'm going to check out my fluids and everything and uh, top things off and then head on to San Diego to meet another subscriber so it sh should be a good day I'm kind of excited about doing it um, yesterday was a good time I'm glad I got to meet Nassim and uh, I will keep you posted and when I go down to San Diego if I see anything that I like on my way down there I'll make sure I get some video footage of it for you gotta love it LA Black Friday traffic <laughs> it's like park hour even though it's like 11 in in the morning so everybody's out here on uh, trying to get their uh, super good deals, I guess. So here we are. We're going to sit here and uh, duel with cameras here. But like, if you want to see right, what I got going, <laughs> going on here, I mean, this is how I make it so that I actually have space inside. So you got about three hours on that <laughs> generator. Uh, no, I got quite a bit more than that because uh, when I first started on the trip, I uh, I ran it a lot when I was in Texas and in Oklahoma because it was still real hot. And nobody so, bothered you about having it. You know, I, I, I never got bothered. Like, I was staying at mainly truck stops at that time. Yeah, so I and think they had I, lots of noise. Yeah, like, nobody, nobody, nobody cared. Um, the only, there was only one truck stop where they gave me a little bit of hard time. But it was more that I went back into the truck, where the trucks park area. And uh, I set everything up, you know, back there. And the security guy said he couldn't have anything but a truck back there. He wasn't trying to be a jerk or anything. So. Yeah, they want to keep the RVs separated and the passenger vehicles separated. Yeah. The tanks and everything. Yeah. Pretty much. So, but yeah, this is this is the way I keep it. <laughs> I was thinking, like. I hope you guys had a great Thanksgiving, and uh, I I hope you're having a r really good day and everything. Um, today I uh, had the opportunity to uh, meet Gary Clark and uh, uh, over in Anaheim he uh, he's a subscriber here on the channel um, he it, what was cool is he did a lot of traveling when he was younger and you know just hop in the van and, and, and go uh, he was a real an artistic type guy uh, so he, he uh, 
Um, he, he did like rock carvings and, and uh, wood carvings and stuff like that. And we talked about that and politics and, and uh, um, just in general world things and a little bit about different YouTubers. And it was just a real pleasant day to get to really get to know him. Um, I, I felt I felt real comfortable around him too because of our interactions um, in the comment sections and stuff on on my channel and uh, you know I I hope that he can get back out there and start and start going around and with his uh, RV I think he has a from our discussion I think he has a pretty cool RV and I, and I'd like to I'd like to see him get to use it a lot more and uh, um, you know, I, I'm I'm really glad that I, I met him and everything. So uh, maybe maybe sometime you guys can uh, see him here and tell him hi or whatever. So uh, he, his uh, you, his Google Plus is is uh, Gary Clark. So, but anyways, um, I'm I'm getting ready to crash here, guys. Uh, I I'm getting pretty tired. I. I might, I'm gonna try, I think I might try to edit another video. I'm trying to get ahead because uh, I'm leaving, I'm leaving here in a, uh, first thing in the morning, I'm leaving for San Diego, guys. So, um, ho hopefully it'll be a good trip out there. I, I only plan on being there a day or two before I head out to the slabs. So, get out there and connect, guys. Live a big story. Make sure you're doing something every day to reduce world suck. Peace.